Hello folks, in this video I'm going to explain keyword difficulty and how to assess how difficult it is to rank for specific keywords in Google and Bing and other search engines. So uh, at WiseView we use Ahrefs, we use SEMrush, and we use the Google Keyword Planner tool. So for this example we're going to be looking at this keyword, Persian Rug Cleaning, and we're going to be looking at Canada as the target. So on Google, if you look at the data, it gives you competition is high. So this is obviously not for organic search, but it's for pay-per-click. But it kind of gives you um, how competitive it is in terms of the cost per click and how many people you have competing there. A lot of people will look at this and judge the competitiveness of the organic search, but it's not always accurate, even though in a lot of circumstances it is. So what we do is we use these other tools like Ahrefs and uh, SEMrush. So I've plugged the, the keywords in here, and you can see the keyword difficulty for that keyword in SEMrush is 51.24, and in Ahrefs it's 2. So these two uh, tools use a very different algorithm for calculating difficulty score, or keyword difficulty. Ahrefs, and I have right here, basically our keyword difficulty score shows you the average number of referring domains the pages ranking on the front page of Google have. So our keyword difficulty metric gives you an estimate of how hard it would be to rank in the top 10 search results for a given keyword. Attention, I did not say rank number one for a given keyword. I said rank in the top 10 for a given keyword. Uh, essentially, we look at how many referring domains the top 10 ranking pages for a given keyword have. You can read some of this other stuff here. So essentially, Ahrefs looks at how many links or backlinks the top 10 uh, websites on the first page of Google have pointing to them and it gives you a score based on that while SEMrush is a little bit different they don't look at the amount of backlinks that uh, these websites have that are ranking on the first page for Persian rug cleaning on the contrary and this is just an email thread I had with SEMrush uh, to calculate the keyword uh, the difficulty of a keyword we analyze the top domains that are ranking in the first 20 organic search results for a given keyword Based on each website's SEM rush rank, we calculate its domain strength and define its keyword difficulty. SEM rush rank, the rating of websites that are based on the estimation of both the volume of organic traffic and the value of paid traffic as it compares to organic traffic. So essentially what SEM rush does, and if you go try to uh, read about their keyword difficulty, they don't explain much. They just say uh, that it's a percentage from 0 to 100 showing you how difficult it is. But uh, if you dig a little bit deep, deeper, you're going to see uh, SEM rush rank. So um, what this looks at is right here. These rankings are calculated by measuring the estimated traffic that goes to a domain from all of the organic positions we have for the domain in our database. So these guys look at how much traffic the top 20 websites that rank for Persian rug cleaning on Google uh, get. So they don't look at how many backlinks are pointing to these domains. They just look at the amount of traffic based on how many keywords they're ranking for in the search results. So this metric right here is not nearly as accurate in terms of analyzing backlinks as SEM uh, as Ahrefs. So that's why even though the, the amount of traffic the websites get is an indication of how competitive it is, uh, at WiseView we always look at this, this metric before we look at this one, even though we look at both of them. But this metric tells you in terms of how many backlinks you're going to have to build. And if you look right here in this document, you can see uh, the Ahrefs difficulty score scale. You can see uh, if you're getting uh, 0 to 10, it's easy. They estimate that you have to get ten uh, less than 10 domains linking to your website. Keep in mind that they don't, they don't specify what the authority of each one of these domains that are linking to your site are or have to be. You know, they're just estimating it. Uh, medium, 11 to 36 domains. 31 to 70 is 37 to 200 domains need to point to your website to be able to rank on the, f on the top 10 search results. So this, this doesn't look at. So if we go here and search for Persian rug cleaning, we can see here these are the top 10. So they look at all these top 10 here and they find out what the average is of the amount of domains that are linking to these different websites and they give you an idea of how many uh, backlinks you're gonna have to get for to your website in order to come up on the first page so that's not gonna give you an idea of how many backlinks you need to come up in the top three four five spots so the best way to do that is to take these competitors 
and then now uh, we're gonna go to Ahrefs Content Explorer, sorry, Site Explorer, and then we enter the domain name here. And here it gives us how many backlinks this website has, how many referring domains it has. So this will indicate much better what we need to get, how many domains we need to get, as opposed to the previous metric of telling us that we need to just get under 10 domains to be on the first page. And, and perhaps if you want to get down here somewhere, you know, you could you could possibly do it with under 10 domains, but once again, that'll depend on how, uh, how high of a quality your domains are. That sums up this video. We hope uh, we explained keyword difficulty to you. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Take care.